Welcome to the section on report creation for Active Directory. First, we'll work with Active Directory users, computers, and groups. Then we'll navigate the AD architecture within PowerShell to provide some insight into how it all works. Then we will filter, format, and finally we'll create a report. Welcome to the video Working with AD Users and Computers. In this video, we will cover basic commandlets for AD users and computers. We'll create an AD user. Then we'll search for an Active Directory user. And then finally, we're going to change an Active Directory user. So we're on our domain controller. And we're going to use our get command commandlet to see what commandlets we have for AD user. And we see that we have get AD user, new AD user, remove AD user, and set AD user. So quite a bit of control over our Active Directory users. We'll hit the up arrow on our keyboard, and that will repeat the same command, but we're going to backspace and change user to computer. And we'll see that we have the same commandlets available for our Active Directory computers, so quite a bit of control over both of them. So now we're going to clear the screen to give us some more real estate, and we're going to do new AD user. Now we're going to do SAM account name, and what we're going to do is we're going to just start to type the parameter and we're going to hit tab to auto complete it. This does two things. One, it makes sure the parameter is available and second, it makes sure that we're spelling the parameter correctly. We're going to do John Doe for our name and for our given name, we're going to do John. For our surname, we're going to do Doe. For our user principal name, again we're using tab complete, we're going to do J Doe at Contoso.com. Contoso.com is commonly used in Microsoft Labs and trainers all over the world use Contoso and Aditum.com domains. They're owned by Microsoft and Microsoft allows for those to be used in labs, so feel free to use those. And then we're going to do account password, and that kicked us to a new line, but we're still in the same command string. And we're going to use parentheses for read host we're going to use the switch as secure string because it's going to be a password. And we're going to put some instructions here. Enter the password. And we'll end parentheses. And everything inside the parentheses is going to run first before the rest of the command. That way we'll have a password to pass to the account password parameter that we put. Then we'll use the enabled parameter and dollar sign true variable so that this is an enabled account. Enter the password. We're going to use the same password we use for everything. Now, it's not done. It prompted us for more information. It wants a name. So this is a nice feature in PowerShell that if you don't give it everything it needs, quite often it will prompt you to supply the missing information instead of just giving you an error and making you do it all over again. It'll say, I need one more piece of information. Give me this. So we'll just put in JDO, and then there we have it. Now we'll use that get AD user command to see if we can find our new Active Directory user. And there they are. Now you'll see we get a little bit of information, but there's actually quite a bit more information available for get AD user. And we're going to use the properties, and then we're going to give it star to see what all properties are available to see for this Active Directory user. And as you can see, there's quite a few. One of them is the email address. And it's empty, of course, because we didn't give it an email address. So Let's set him an email address. So how do we set an Active Directory user an email address? Well, remember our get command star ad user? There's a set ad user. So we're going to use set ad user jdo, and we're going to set the email address. And we'll set it to jdo at contoso.com. Now, if we do get ad user, we don't see the email address. Remember, it only gives you a default set of properties. You have to ask for the other properties. Now, instead of asking for all of them by using star, what we're going to do is we're just going to say, I want to see the email address. It's going to give us all these default properties, but it's also going to add the email address. You'll see it's the second one listed, jdo at contoso.com. Fantastic. So now, two other quick commandlets I want to show you that come with Active Directory. One is the search AD account. And then if you give it the parameter locked out, 
it will return all the locked out users. Now, we don't have any users locked out right now, but this would be handy if somebody calls you and says, I can't log in. It's not letting me log in. You run this commandlet in your PowerShell, and you can very quickly see if they're just simply locked out. And if they are, you can run the unlock AD account commandlet and give their name. That would unlock that account. Now, it did unlock John Doe's account, even though it wasn't locked to begin with. But you can see how very quickly, instead of having to open up a whole other program or remote to the domain controller, if you have the PowerShell Active Directory module loaded, you can simply do a search very quickly, see what locked out accounts exist. If the one who's calling you matches on that list, you know, well, you're just simply locked out. You run the unlock AD account, put their username right there, hit enter, and they should be ready to go.